Hello, today we'll take a look at Primal Survivors. Survivors, does that ring a bell? I'm not gonna show you the abilities that I have right now, I'm gonna jump right into it. I used to like this one, one skill reroll per level. But movement speed seems really important, I've been failing every run. When it comes to weapons, there's only two choices. This one, I don't like it as much. Uh, it has less range and less attack speed. I prefer the bone. Okay, a little less damage, but we'll make up for it. So, this one you have to aim. I'm purposely missing. And, uh, you know, like this, I'm missing. <laughs> so, it takes skill, you know. So, okay, why this game? Why uh, did I play Army of Rune and this and Zombie Survivors? Because Vampire Survivors has reached 1.0, we just did recently the ending and credits. I'll explain what I'm taking after. And also another guy, but you know, uh, eventually people will start slowing down on Vampire Survivors because if they stop adding material, they'll look for another game similar to it. And I joined Vampire Survivors one month late, so I want to be ahead of the curve. This is the best vampire survivor like game i've played so far and i may have found the right term on steam action roguelike uh, that's not a bad description for a type of game because in the army of ruin which i stopped playing i wasn't sure of the kind of um, game it was okay so this is a lot of fun it's not easy but once you get enough upgrades in the shop i'll tell you what i have verbally and i'll show you at the end of the video Things get a little better and once you understand the mechanics a little better also and you understand the, the pacing and the mobs and you know some sort of combos that you can use. So Necromancer type of uh, upgrades that's what I'm looking for because if I die and I have minions right now I'm collecting souls like here's a minion okay so I think I had to do 100 kills or something like this so they're not very difficult to get. So uh, if I die, instead of dying, that's one of my abilities, I sacrifice one of my minions. I have three health plus a shield that I, maybe you noticed I took it when I was talking. So I really went for survivability in this. Um, I have problems, there's a place where they box you in, a little bit like in Vampire Survivor. The first map, you know, when the plants, you, you're like in a square. It's a bit similar to this, and now I'll just get out. And uh, I have something a bit, uh, well, I don't know if it's funny or odd or whatever, but there is a, an upgrade. Like I upgraded my damage, right? And I'll show you the three at the end of the video. By the way, this is really good. Every three attacks, I launch a big attack of 20 damage. There was a second layer of even more damage and it says minus two HP, but I thought it was minus two HP for the mobs. Then I did the run, but I survived super long. And after that, I was like, why do I have only one health? It was like one hit death. And no, after a bit, because I only had three hour experience in this game, after a bit, I realized that you sacrifice two HP and it's one hit death uh, run. Okay, of course you have uh, the summoning thing I was talking about, plus the shield, I discovered that after. But still, it's pretty bad. And I was getting frustrated. Like, How am I gonna go through this game? Um, or this level at least that's the first level and only level for now more on this this is early access it just came out the game just came out now there's no activity uh, on steam or anything like this but this game um, as i said is the best i'm going for dps pure dps and also in the three i have upgrades for ice so i'm gonna go for ice i think i have a better odd of uh, freezing mobs and the way it works is, let's say i choose ice then they offer me better ice and better ice, better ice. So there's ice, fire, poison, tornado. Also, you know, uh, some people call these games ripoffs of Vampire Survivors. Army of Rune had a lot of uh, items that were similar um, to Vampire Survivor. This one doesn't have as many. Uh, it's really, it really does feel different. Like uh, Zombie Survivors, which. Uh, the developer is on my Discord. Hi, man. Uh, I hope you add some uh, updates to your game. 
I stopped playing it because there's no more updates. But that game, you know, there were certain similarities. But you know, you make your own loadout, and it had it had its own identity. Just the game was some sort of abandoned. Free Fight was completely abandoned, which is unfortunate. It's from the makers of Kicker Evil, and guess what? The developer is also on my <laughs> Discord. So hi, I hope you update Free Fight. I really liked it. Although the videos didn't do well at all. Army of Rune did well, the video, but not enough for a series. Now, if you want a series on this, if you want me to play some more when they add stuff, uh, views, likes, subscriptions, and comments, that's what I'm looking at, okay? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Usually we play incremental, idle, clicker game type of uh, stuff, uh, but also some roguelikes we even played. Binding of Isaac, but nobody was watching because we got what? Saint Victor and Northern Lion. I cannot compete with these people. They're too good and they are very well established in that game, so it failed. But I love rogue likes, and there are some in this channel. Some chess too, what I barely play uh, lately. I might even stop, I'm not sure. So, yeah, so it would be uh, if you like uh, incremental games, it's the place to go and. The channel is growing pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with that. So welcome and check it out, uh, check the channel. I'm sure you'll find something you like, and if you do, I invite you to subscribe. So um, we keep going here, and I have now I have two summons. I do a lot of damage. Now I'm boxed in. This is the place where I used to stay in the box. Now when I had one health for a few runs, <laughs> I had to stay here because when I Bail out like this, see, I, I, well, I got hit twice, but, uh, you know, you, you go through the wall and you get hit once and you keep going. And there's a mini boss that gives a lot of XP. So the um, the XP, you would imagine, is the meat, and it is. Once I kill uh, the, I don't, you don't see it, but I'll kill uh, some sort of a mini boss. Here, see the big meat there? You can rewind if you want to see that mini boss. So the green thing is poison, it's pretty good. The tornado, I don't like it too much because there's so many tornadoes on the screen and often there's mobs under the tornado that are being damaged but they're not dead. So if you go through a tornado, you might get hit. Uh, with the ice, eventually there's like clouds of ice, but it's not as bad as tornado when you can just avoid the clouds of ice. See, I got hit twice here, so I thought I was done for, but well, maybe I'll do well. My goal was to reach the boss, so if you look at the promotional video on Steam, by the way, the game is $3, okay, um, the, there's a boss, and I wanted just to reach it, not necessarily kill it, so you'll see what happens in this video. So we keep going, what else can I say about this game, oh yeah, I was trying to do live commentary as I play. Especially for the first time I play a game like this. Now my live commentaries are not as good as uh, my after the fact voiceover because I can correct them. The arm and the station and all the clicking, all this and that. But anyways, it's more spontaneous, right? But I failed and I failed and I failed and I was getting a bit tired of repeating the same thing and talking and talking and talking. And I'm not streaming yet, so... I decided to just uh, shut up, stop recording myself and just play and then do a voiceover after the fact. I think it's better this way because, you know, it was distracting too, I have really to concentrate. Although this is a really good run, it's my best run, uh, I think even the previous one was pretty solid. Oh, here, you see what I did with my mouse? It's because with the other class there's a re-roll, you can re-roll. And I use the other class for the longest time. And I think this is the only second time I use this class, which has more movement speed. And I'll show you why I think movement speed is so important. In fact, the run before that, I died. I had a great run, but I died because I did not have enough movement speed. The mouse were just right behind me and I couldn't do anything. I just got killed. So with this, I got 20% more movement speed. I know the other character when he shoots, he walks slower. It seems to be the case with this also. Because you see me... Oh yeah, it does say when you're not shooting, you have 20% more movement speed. That's correct. 
But the other character, uh, when is when you shoot, you don't have extra speed. You go back to normal speed, but when you shoot, you walk really slow. Which makes it interesting because you have to manage: do I shoot or run away? You know, like here, I sort of maybe need I shoot a little bit and run away, shoot, run away. So sort, of, sort of almost kiting. It's not exactly kiting, but it's the same principle. You know? A little shot, move away. A little shot, move away. So that's the blizzard, okay, so that's probably the highest from uh, ice, I think. You'll see, see a cloud like this? So it's not too bad, it's not as, uh, as I said, with the tornadoes, where the whole screen is tornadoes and you see nothing. I want to see where I'm going. Fire is not upgraded yet, eventually I'm going to go to fire. I could go to poison too, but I cannot reroll or anything, so I have no choice to choose, I think, fire at the time. I prefer poison, maybe. I'm not sure, I'm no expert, not yet. Now, there's only one map, okay, two characters, two weapons. The game just came out uh, 30 seconds ago, you know, I'm being hyperbolic here, but you know what I mean. I'm really hoping that they will add stuff quickly. If they do, this could be a successful game. And uh, if there is an audience, these are the last mobs from this map, by the way. If there's enough of an audience in this video, sorry. Then I will, uh, this is more critical hit, I will uh, make another video when they unlock maybe a new map or something, enough meat for me to make another video. This was a lot of fun as I said. You see that tree that I shot at with the spikes? At first I thought it was some sort of decoration at the beginning of the game, I got killed like in my first run. I hit it twice, mm -mm, you know, I had three health, I was like, well, that's pretty bad. The rest is not dangerous, it's the only dangerous thing you can touch on the map. So those mobs, and there's 30 seconds left, but it would hit 10 minute runs. After 10 minutes, the boss appears, then you fight the boss. Those are fairly fast, and that's what killed me last run. I couldn't outrun them, I got killed. But here, I'm doing super well, I'm gonna be fine. If I need to run away, I think this character is better, although the reroll is really nice on the uh, other one. And there will be more characters, so I saw the roll map, there will be more weapons, more characters, more levels, more this, more that. But they have to be quick though, otherwise the game could die, I think. Uh, there's a lot of um, games that are trying to mimic a little bit of Empire Survivor's soul. And as I said, 1.0 is out, the boss is there on the right, the big man, you cannot miss it, it's right there. So. How do I kill it? There's so many mobs in between him and me. It's in direct fire, maybe a blizzard will hit him a little bit, maybe he'll burn a little bit. Maybe he'll get frozen when he gets frozen. If I hit him, I have increased chance to crit. But all I have to do is kill mobs and run around. And I, my strategy is go to, you see all the, this meat? Because I go in a circle, most of the time, I wasn't perfect because I'm still learning, of course. More attack speed, attack speed is damage. So I go around, I make a circle, and I just pick up the food that I left behind a while ago. Uh, you know, uh, because I cannot just stay there and kill mobs. Stay static, no way I get killed. But if I go around like this, it works okay. And there's a big, big pile of mobs with the boss right in the middle. Sometimes he tries to charge me through the mobs, but I'm so far. And with this extra run speed, I'm fine. And also my summons from uh, the summoning or necromancer, whatever, they, uh, they hit the boss a little bit. See, I'm just picking up. That's cool that I still get HP, like in Vampire Survivors after the 30 minute mark, that's still map 5 or there's still mobs. See, he's charging me, but yeah, not fast enough. Uh, yeah, there's no, you cannot level up anymore. Here, I still can level up. So that's a big advantage. Like, if you have a good build and you're doing super well, and you reach this point, and you can outrun these and kill them, you can't fail. Look how slow he is compared to me. Now I hit him directly, right? He's burning, he's, you know, he's frozen, and, uh, you know, I will kill him. I think it's pretty evident now. It's just that it's going to be a very sudden thing. He's going to just die and bang and he's done. It's like, oh, I'm done, okay. Now, he, I got hit twice here. That's no good, but I do have, I do have um, minions that I can sacrifice. So if I get hit again, I'm gonna lose a minion, stay alive. So why did I get hit? I just played poorly. Uh, I just choked. I don't know. I was like all excited. Finally, I'm gonna kill this boss. I'll have the footage of the boss dying for the video. You know, I really wanted to kill it. 
my mission accomplished already and there was another one where I reached the boss also so I already had the footage for a video but I felt like I had time to play some more so I said no I won't kill the boss but there's nothing special happening there's no big animation unfortunately so yeah that's pretty much what the game is about well uh, I think we're not far from being done Look how much space I have, right? Here it is again. <laughs> but I don't see any reason to do any more runs. Until, there you go. One, you know, it pops in your face, you win. There's no animation of seeing him dying. You don't pick up anything. I don't know. But it, it's pretty bare bones. It's early access. The game just came out, as I said. Great potential. Let's look at my upgrades. Why not? When you buy something, you got to equip it for it to work. So this is more crit. And... Uh, Freeze chance is now 25%, okay? More XP, that helps a lot. And we have more movement speed. More DPS. And that thing where I sacrifice a summon to prevent death. And that's the thing, reduce max HP by two and then increase my power. Once again, I thought it was reduce the mobs HP by two. And you can only equip two of R1, R2, R3. If you look on the left in upgrade, if you go back, you can only equip two of each type of upgrade. And then the strongest one, you can equip only one. So you can make builds like this. So it reminds me a little bit of loadouts and zombie survivors. So I really will pay attention to. I don't know if they have a Discord, please let me know in the comments if they do. But I'll pay attention to this game, see if there's updates. I'll see how the video does. And uh, please let me know what you think. I'm really interested. If you want a series, let me know also. I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.